This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and today I have a very simple tutorial which would be good for beginners of Inkscape. I'm going to show you how to create this uh, simple ribbon graphic uh, that you see here on my screen. At any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is set the view to custom, and then we're going to zoom in at 100%. And then we're going to open our line and distribute menu with this button up top. And we want to make sure you have less selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up our edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button. So the first thing we're going to do is create some text. So let's come over to the text tool. You can click on it over here. or You can just press F8 on the keyboard as a shortcut. And go ahead and click on the canvas to bring up that little cursor. And I'm just going to turn the caps locks uh, on. And I'm just going to use, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use the word simple ribbon. So I'm just going to write simple and go back to the select tool. Uh, I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate and bring this down here. And then we'll go back to our text tool and I'm going to write in here ribbon, simple ribbon. And I'm going to turn off the caps lock and let me go back to the select tool. And I'm going to click and drag over both of those words. and I'm going to give that a different font. So I'll come up here to the text editor and the font I'm going to use is called League Gothic. And I'll put a link to that in the, in the uh, description of the video in case you'd like to download and use that font yourself. Go ahead and click apply, close out of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and shift in the keyboard and grab one of these arrows to scale this thing up so it's a little easier to work with. So once we've done that, let's click off of it to deselect everything. And then we'll go to our rectangles and squares tool. And we're going to draw a rectangle just going over the word simple there. And I'm actually going to turn this red, bring the opacity down a little bit, about in half. Um, I'll go back to the select tool. I'm going to lower that beneath the word simple, just like that. This button up top, lower selection one step. And I'm going to convert this to a path so we can edit the individual nodes. To do that, we'll go to path, object to path, and come up here to the edit paths by nodes tool. Click on that. And I'm just going to click and drag over these two nodes right here on the left so I have them both selected. And I'm going to come up here to the toolbar, this very uh, far icon to the left that says insert new nodes into selected segments. I'm going to click that once and then I'll click on that node right there. It's going to put a new node in there. I'll just click on that one just so that one's selected. And then I'll hold control on the keyboard and grab that node and slide it over to the right a little bit just to give this a little bit of a, a fishtail on the end there. And then I'll go back to the select tool. and. Um, I'm going to hold shift and click on the word simple and I'm just going to make sure that that is aligned on the horizontal axis with that button right there and then we can click off of it to deselect everything and then I'm going to click on just this red shape right here and I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate and I'll turn that blue and I'm going to flip this horizontally and then I'm going to take this and bring this down here right about there and I'll take this word ribbon and I'll raise this to the top with this button, raise selection to the top. Uh, I'll hold shift and click on the blue shape. So we have them both selected. And I'm going to make sure that that is aligned on the horizontal axis. And then uh, hold shift and click on the word ribbon to deselect it. So we just have this blue shape selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the edit paths by nodes tool. And I'm going to click and drag over all those nodes over there on the right. And then I'm going to hold control and click and drag these nodes over to the right so the word ribbon fits into that shape. And you want to eyeball it and make sure there's just enough padding between the end and the edge of the shape. About the same as what you see over here on this side. Just, uh, it doesn't have to be exact. You just eyeball it. And that's, that's pretty good. We'll go back to the Select tool. Uh, I'm actually going to hold Shift and click on the word ribbon. And I'm going to hold Control and move this down a little bit, actually. And let's send that to the bottom. Let's send both of these to the bottom with this button that says Lower Selection to the bottom. And that's pretty good like that. So um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to hold control and click and drag this to the right a little bit because we want to have some space between the red and the letter R. We want to have some space in there. So uh, I'm just going to move that over to the right. That's pretty good. We click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a little shape in here that's going to act as like a, a little bit of a shadow. So I'll come over to the uh, edit, uh, not the edit pads, the uh, Bezier pen uh, right there. Or you could just grab it by pressing B on the keyboard. And I'll turn on the snap to cusp nodes. And I'm going to snap the cursor onto this bottom corner and then click. And then hold control and bring the line straight up into about here, right above 
right below where the L is and click. Then we can let go of control, snap that line onto this corner and click and bring it back to the starting point, snap it back together. And we're going to do the same thing right here. So let's start the cursor down at this, at this corner and then click. Let's just bring this line up until it snaps onto that corner and then click. And we're going to bring this line right about on the outside of the blue shape right here. We want on the outside of the blue shape and to the left of the R. So right about in there is pretty good. And we can click. And I'm going to take this line, snap it back to the starting point. Pretty good there. So uh, let's go back to the select tool. We could turn off the snap to cusp nodes for now. We're done with that. And I'm going to take that shape and I'm just going to turn that green for now. And I'm going to get rid of the black outline, otherwise known as the stroke, by holding shift and clicking on the X. And then I'll click on this blue shape. We'll right click that and go to duplicate and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the green shape and go to path intersection. Now we'll click on this shape. We'll do the same thing. We're going to turn that green. Uh, we're going to get rid of the stroke by holding shift and clicking on the X. And we'll go back to the select tool. Uh, click on this red shape and then right click it and go to duplicate. And hold shift, click on the green shape and then go to path difference so that it fits in there like that. Now we could start coloring this thing in. So let's click and drag over the whole thing and bring the opacity of it all the way up and then click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to click on the words here and make them white. And then I'll click on this red shape and I'm going to use a different shade of red for this one. I'm going to use one of these uh, one of these muddier shades, the C83737. And then I'll click on this one. I'll give that that same shade. What is that? The C8? But I'm going to come over here to the Fill tab, and under the HSL tab, we'll come down to the L column and slide that to the left a little bit to make that a little darker. And then I'll click on that green shape, and then hold Shift and click on the other green shape so we have them both selected. And I'm going to make this the same, the same shade as this, but a little darker. So let's press F7 on the keyboard to get the dropper tool, and click on that segment to make it the same shade. And then we'll come over to the L column and just slide that over to the left to make that darker. And you can see this is starting to take shape now. Um, and then we'll go back to the select tool. And let's click on this word and then hold shift and click on this other word. And let's group them together with this button that says group selected objects. And then I'm going to, uh, well actually let's make sure this is raised to the top first. So raise selection to the top. We want to make sure that that is on top of everything. And then we're going to right click this and go to duplicate to duplicate those words and we'll turn that duplicated copy black and then I'm going to hold control and just click and drag this down a little bit maybe about that much and then I'll lower that one step so it goes beneath those words and we'll take the opacity of this and drop this down just so it's um just so it gives the appearance of a little bit of a drop shadow and then I'm going to click and drag over the whole thing and group it all together and I'm going to click on this again to get our uh, rotation handles. Previously, we had our scaling handles. If we click on it again, we get our rotation handles. And we're not going to rotate this around, but we're going to take the side handle right here. And I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this side handle and just bring that up one step. Oops. Bring that up one step like that. And there you have it. It's pretty much done now. That's how you can create a very simple ribbon graphic using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.